They may be primitive, but the Sif Purebloods are worthy of respect. Not only for their skill with the dark side, but also for their hunger for war. The Zuggeruk caste has built siege engines that has even developed technologies that can tear apart a star's heart. However, most warfare within Sif space occurs when the combatants can lock gazes before trading blows. Their death dealing tools are as admirable for their craftsmanship as for their lethality. The Sith sword, while we exiles wielded lightsabers when we fought the Hundred Year Darkness, the Sith have developed edged weapons honed and strengthened through the Force. Mirrors of the swords carried by the first Jedi on Typhon. These swords are heavy and require two hands to wield, except for the most mammoth of the Masasi, who can handle them with one hand. The swords can deflect plasma bolts and withstand the energy of a lightsaber blade. Each acts as a reservoir of dark side power. Sith War Sword this two-bladed staff requires great skill to wield and is seldom issued to crude foot soldiers. Ajunta Paul executed Hakagrun Glaush using Glaush's own war sword. I have kept the weapon and plan to use the dried blood upon the blade in my alchemy. Lanvarok. This is the battle weapon of the Masasi. When swung, these ranged weapons release a spray of whirling razor discs. The armoured soldiers of Demolu Krev wear Lanvarok gauntlets on their left arms. Larang, when thrown, this curved blade returns to its user's hand, unless it has been thrown into the skull of an enemy. It is reminiscent of the weapons carried in antiquity by the royal Mashatros of the Kashimir. I have no doubt we can improve it further. Shikar, the Shikar is the tool of assassins. It can be as long as a forearm, yet it is easily concealed beneath robes. A twist of the handle after stabbing a victim will snap the glassy blade off and leave it to fester beneath the skin. Sith Poison The poisoners of Malki would burn with envy at how the Sith have mastered the subtle art. In battle, the Sith coat their blades and darts with poison. They have also been known to lace the drinking goblets of rivals. The poison can cause pain, paralysis, death, or blood frenzy. But with every generation of Sith, the poison must be improved to compensate for the species' improved immunities.